Hello everybody and welcome to another Python 3 Basics tutorial video. This video is going to be covering the basics of at least understanding classes in Python. For the most part I just want you to understand how to like read and follow along with what's happening in someone else's class, not necessarily uh, to teach you guys how to write really good classes and all that. The idea of class uh, or classes is to kind of encase a group. It's almost like a uh, a way you could use classes instead of modules. Um, that's usually the way I see people using it is to save a, a, almost like as if they were writing like scripts like like people do with Java, let's say. Uh, but they have classes and then underneath the classes they've got all their functions and it's just kind of treated as if class is equal to a module almost. But anyway, um, I just want to show you guys how to follow them. Class is really just a a way of grouping things together I suppose um, but you can do some really neat things with classes and but actually I would kinda consider classes more of an intermediate kind of thing um, but I think at least understanding them is is good for basics so uh, with that let's go ahead and get started uh, one of the simplest things I can think of to uh, use as an example would be to like create a class and make that class calculator um, you don't have to put any parameters here just colon and that's it so class calculator so our calculator class uh, should contain obviously some pretty simple uh, things like what it, what does a calculator do? Well, at its very basics, a calculator should at least add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Uh, it should be able to do all of those things. So we definitely want our calculator to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, for addition, we'll say define addition, and for addition, we're just going to say we can only have two variables. <clears throat> so for addition, we have x, y and we'll say added equals x plus y and then we'll do print added okay so that's our definition uh, but now we also need this calculator to be able to do subtraction so define subtraction and again x y and now what we do is we'll say sub equals x minus y okay then we'll go ahead and print sub Continuing right along, we also need to be be able to do multiplication. So define multiplication uh, x y again colon, and now we'll say mult equals x times y. Finally, we want to be able to do division. Define division uh, x y colon, and div equals x divided by y and print div okay so now we've got uh, our basic calculator class all the things that are uh, encompassed within our class and let me just uh, push this up one little bit and now let's say we actually wanted to use our class so an example of someone using class would uh, calculator you would basically do the following calculator dot and let's say we wanted to do um, multiplication calculator dot multiplication x y we want to do three five so that would be how you call the multiplication division of multiplication division I'm thinking like division as in like a division of like a, a company anyway that's how you would do multiplication um, within our calculator class so let's go ahead and save and run that and Oh, it just so happens we never printed out molts. Wow, of all the ones that we didn't do. So anyway, print molts. Okay, now let's run it. And sure enough, uh, our multiplication gave us 15. Now we can call the other ones. So uh, calculator dot addition uh, five two, uh, and that's going to give us a seven. Calculator dot subtraction uh, ten nine. Oops. 10, 9, 1. You guys get the idea. Um, so uh, that's basically how you can kind of read and understand a, a class. Uh, like I said, there's a, some other things that people do with classes uh, to get, give them quite a bit of uh, more functionality to them. But for now, uh, these are just the kind of the basics of a class and how to understand like what people are doing uh, when they use classes. So Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, comments section. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.